Thank you. So, um, the next one is <laughs> Josiah Morgan, also by um, Audio Visual Link. Josiah, welcome. Hello. Hi, I'm here. Can you see me? Yes, we can, very clearly. Fabulous. Um, I've just introduced myself very briefly. Um, in my personal life, I am an author published primarily in America, but I also work through places like the Word Festival. Uh, I teach drama for Singing Stars Rolleston and at the Isaac Theatre Royal. Uh, and I'm also a performer running a very small scale theatre company aiming to bridge the gap between uh, people moving out of high school and into the professional scene, largely because that's where I fall also. Um, in my professional life, I work for the White Room Creative Space which is a space and a program to connect artists facing access barriers with the arts around Ototahi. The White Room is currently located and funded through Skillwise, which means that we are primarily a day base for people living with intellectual disabilities. Um, my role within the White Room is to expand and implement an outreach program that connects artists with all of the creative opportunities happening around the city that allows them to be viewed as artists first and people living with disabilities second. We also work with people experiencing mental health distress uh, and people who are incarcerated through some other organizations that I've linked up with. Um, I want to note just before I continue that I am, of course, speaking on behalf of some of the people that we support. And so there may be things that I simplify or miss because I don't have a lived experience of intellectual disability, uh, although I do see it day to day. Um, as far as we are concerned within the White Room, accessibility barriers uh, really boil down to three things. One of them is money. One of them is transport. And the last one is institutional working hours. The money one is by far the biggest. Um, the majority of people that we support would not attend um, the theater, for instance, if it cost more than $5. Um, that's been, there have been some really helpful offers from, for example, Michael at Little Andromeda um, to get us $5 tickets when people want to come through. And there has been some uptake, although COVID's making that difficult at the moment. Uh, transport is also challenging because uh, maybe half of the people that we support cannot uh, get places themselves and need residential providers uh, or other providers to do so. The reason, I guess, that we support um, the amphitheatre and the development of a studio space through Porticoms and so forth in the Performing Arts Precinct is because I think it ticks off all of these um, barriers as items of almost non-concern. The money element is inherently reduced because it's a cheaper space to access, sometimes free to access for things like markets. Transport is solved for many of the people we support through buses, and it's also a space that many of them are experienced with because many of them do access Turanga on a day-to-day -day basis, and the White River is just down the road um, at 344 Manchester Street, if I've got the number right. Uh, I also think this answers the question that come up, came up a little bit earlier, at least for us, um, about how we deal with these kind of de um, spaces that are, are hurting at the moment or hemorrhaging money, to be frank, like some of those places like the Isaac who are really struggling to get people in because the scale of shows needs to be larger. The fact for us is that our people don't go to those shows anyway. Here is an opportunity for a space that can provide uh, free or cheap theatre it can provide a studio space that connects networks across multiple different kinds of needs. Um, I guess the final thing that I have to say, uh, I, I hope I'm okay for time, is that as far as we are concerned, when artists lead the way, that's when the access barriers are removed. Uh, what that looks like for us is that any time that we have a plan, we ask the artists what they think and what they want to do first. Uh, I recognize we're in a much smaller institutional framework than a city, uh, but I guess what I'm saying is that um, the amphitheater plan as it currently exists, I think is the most accessible addition to the performing arts precinct that could possibly be placed there. Uh, what you currently have is a coalition of artists from Ototahi asking you to let us lead the way uh, as we do on a day-to-day -day basis in the White Room. Thank you. Are there any questions? Uh, Jake. Thank you for that. Um, I'm yeah really impressed with the submission overall. In terms of how it would be run on an um, annual basis, is it your view that the council would have some responsibility, particularly for the grounds, and that there'd be a trust set up to administer the buildings, or, or would you guys be looking to do the whole thing or us administer the whole thing? 
my view in terms of the white room's role uh means that i don't i don't believe i can answer that i think that needs to be a question maybe for michael or nathaniel to come back to you with at some stage um but the white room um would connect in with it as a frequent user of the space uh, and potentially um administering yeah the arts studio space sorry jake no. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, look, um, thank you for taking the time to um, make a submission. Uh, I mean, it, there's obviously a, a theme to tonight's submissions and it's um, been really great. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to remember whether I've been to this white, white that, um, how, is it further down Manchester towards Bailey Ave? Yes, up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have been there. Okay, lovely, yeah. thank you. Um, right, the next one is um, Georgie um, CBA, is it? Um, CBA. 